All right. I'm going to do what I did last time, get the gas arrow before I do anything else. Oh, yep. Thugs are here. All right. I think I forgot to save until I was, uh... Or, yeah, I forgot to save, so I think I'm all the way back in Stone Market proper right now. Okay, the Widow's Thugs are in South Corner, right outside Garrett's building. So... Keeping that in mind, let's try that again. Again, as before, straight through Stone Market Plaza. Plaza. This time I'll save when I get to South Quarter. So that doesn't happen to me again. I didn't think there were any outside the building. I thought they just spawned inside, but clearly I'm wrong. There's one outside. You'll remember that I neglected to bring Widow Moira any wine, and I stole her courier bag from her. That's why we have these thugs to deal with now. So, not to worry. There are... Oh, everybody just spawned in behind me. There are alternate ways to deal with this. You see the thug there, of course. I still need to get across here and get up on top of that, uh... Business, I'll just call it, in order to get my gas arrow. But I have the watchman as well as the thug. Something funny going on? Damn. To be careful of. I thought I could have a little more time before it spawned everybody in behind me, but alas, I was wrong. I hope it didn't also spawn the hammerite like last time, but I. Don't even ask. But I bet it did. Let's try this again. Like a big empty pit. That's how my stomach feels. Stay crouched. Move nice and slow. We should still be able to get over here without any fuss. Now with that, we can do our usual mantle onto the crate, onto the awning. Up onto this edge. And now we're up high enough that we're out of visual range. We can go ahead and go after the gas arrow. <laughs> Got it. Very good. Next, I'll get the broadhead arrows inside the watch station. Then I need to assess my options for dealing with the water arrows in the fountain. I want to get the water arrows and head into Garrett's building. Obviously, I have the thug to worry about. I think what I'm going to want to do is... Huh? Sounded like... He's very alert. He saw him immediately go yellow just from hearing one footstep on the stone, so... I'm going to have to be careful here. Out of the way, peasant. There we go. What's that I see? Almost had it. Damn. Sticking like glue to the fountain, using it as hard cover, and discovering some glitches in the process, namely that I was able to, you know, poke my head through it in a couple of places. I was able to get the water arrows with no okay. alerts from Mo Widow Moira's thug. So. 
let's just keep an eye on him. Kinda wanna wait until he's moving away. So I can get to Garrett's building unmolested. Okay. Oh. Hold on, hold on. Okay, got the water arrows. That's good. Let's see if I can get to the building. Huh? Damn! Ah. He is focused like a laser beam. I'm nervous about getting into Garrett's built. Well, not so much getting into it, but coming out of it, I spawn well within what's obviously his visual range, so... Gonna have to be really careful about that. City Watch Crime Report, District of South Quarter. The following criminal incidents occurred last evening in the vicinity of South Quarter. Zero citizens were murdered, zero citizens were rendered unconscious by a blow to the head, four items of valuable property were reported stolen, zero locks were unlawfully picked open. The above is a true and complete record of events. All residents are encouraged to report suspected incidents of crime to the nearest City Watch authority, signed the Office of the Commissioner. Very good. Let's get over into the shadows that are kind of near the entrance to Garrett's building. And I'm going to do a real save over here because the last thing I want to do is clear the building and then spawn into a bust. So I'm going to try to go in at a good moment when his back is turned so that I can spawn out spawn back outside and immediately rush to the left so no real saving inside the building that's important anyway all we need to do in here we don't even need to check Garrett's apartment since we got the last broadhead yesterday but I'm gonna check it anyway there if I remember right there may be something to read but loot wise of course all we need are the usual two broadheads and one piece of loot from the landlord. Left, down, left, up, down, as usual. In the landlord's room, inside the chest, two broadheads, boom, boom. And if I can find it, on the bookshelf, a copper candlestick worth another 25. That's it for here. There are more thugs inside Garrett's apartment, so let's just take a look. Maybe not. Huh. No thugs. Just the one guy outside. How weird is that? Anyway, good. I get to play with Garrett's practice locks. I always love doing that. Huh. Could have sworn there was another thug or a note to read or something in here. But I guess not. I do know that at this juncture, if you played on a lower difficulty and left the courier bag and you also brought her some wine, there'd be a note from the widow and a gift on the table inside your apartment today. So... Remember, to avoid getting uh, spotted at the spawn point, I need to break left quickly and get into the shadows. That's what I'm going to do as soon as it spawns. Alright, let's hope we're fast enough, or at the very least, I think I should be able to retreat into the doorway and wait until it's good again. Good. Got out with no problems. Hmm. You know, I thought there were more thugs and there was something to tell you why they're there, but I guess not. Even heard that, didn't I? 
Obviously, yeah, he's got supersonic hearing, so I gotta be more careful. I'll show you a better way to get by him when we head back to Stone Market Plaza to go to the next mission. Since he's proving to be such a pain in the butt. Oh, well, let's just crouch and get back to the... Huh? Damn, Hello? too slow. I was hoping I could get back to the hardcover of the fountain, but that doesn't seem to be happening. Let's try breaking left see it, and being quiet and see if I can get there any faster. Damn! I tried to do the whole bounce up and down to increase speed bit and he... Even that he heard. So. Let's watch what he does next. Oh well? Don't even ask. That should be good. Alright, we made it back to the fountain. This is good hardcover. Now he's turned away. And we're across. Very good. Let's just make sure he's not looking. And we get into this last little bit of light that's kind of close to him. That ought to do it. Okay. So, get the two broadheads here by the well. I note that there's no city watchman here today. With those secured, we can get the fire arrow out of this little house. If Garrett would... <laughs> Properly mantle at the window, anyway. So there we got our fire arrow. <laughs> Head to the watch station next. Oh, there's the... There's a patrolling watchman. That... He shouldn't turn before I get into the station. Two more broadheads in here, as usual. Now I'm going to wait for him to head back down the street, and then cross behind him over to the merchant stall. You can see those coppers already. Now it is rather convenient that we go back through South Quarter after clearing the docks. What it ultimately means is that I should be able to dump all my loot on the various fences at the end. So get those three coppers, 25 each, head to Black Alley. I'm going to ignore Heartless Perry for the time being and just clear it out, which means the water arrow and the 50 gold purse under the sewer grate and the moss arrow over here in the bush. That's it for South Quarter. Let's head Today? to the docks. South Quarter, except for the fountain, is very sparsely populated today as well, I must say. Let's hit the docks. See you over there. Alright, I'm going to head to the right and clear out everything besides the pagan territory, including the abysmal gale, first. Well, except I have to wait for that guy, so... Let's read this. City Watch Crime Report, District of the Docks. The following criminal incidents occurred last evening in the vicinity of the docks. Zero citizens were murdered. Zero citizens were rendered unconscious by a blow to the head. Five items of valuable property were reported stolen. Two locks were unlawfully picked open. The above is a true and complete record of events. All residents are encouraged to report suspected incidents of crime to the nearest City Watch authority, signed the office of the commissioner. So... I'll get the fire arrow from the old quarter entrance first. I'll do a real save since I just got here and South Quarter is now actually clear, which is good. I'll 
tackle this apartment next. Just bounce up there. I say bounce. You know, climb up. Get onto the little balcony. Head inside. Get the copper coins off the shelf. That's another 25. Drop down. And let's see where our buddy is. Okay, he's on his way. So I'll wall flatten over here and wait for him to head up towards Old Quarter. I trust all's well with mm -hmm. you? Don't worry, he'll head up there eventually. There he goes. So as I pass over here, want to run down to the sewers to get the water arrow right by the sunken citadel entrance. There's that. That should be the civilian. Yeah, the guard shouldn't be back yet, so... Let's head down the street. Get the gas arrow up here by the window. Get the fire arrow to the left in this passageway. Got it. And let's break through to... The abysmal gale zone. That looks to be funny. Gotta be some bloody noses. That was cutting it close, but I hear no green alerts. Which is good. It's what I was after. Alright. Let's get the water arrow. There at that pipe. Wait here until for a guy like me. until it's good timing on both guards and get the broadheads off the crate. You can say goodbye to these two city watchmen. They disappear after today. You can also, and I'm a little bit sadder about this, say goodbye to the abysmal gale. It and these two city watchmen will no longer be here after day five. So this is... This is the last time we see either of them. So, let's get the broadheads off the crate. Wait till Benny turns around and looks out. That's the best time to zip up this ladder. Then... Something make a sound? Really? He heard me? Good well. lord. Oh well. I guess I just need to be a little bit more careful once I get to the top of the ladder. <sighs> up, up, up. Quickly now, quickly now. There we go. Now we should be able to creep across the pipe and get to the tavern unmolested. Of course, it seems like Benny hears the shutters close and green alerts to that. As crazy as it sounds, since they always seem silent to me. All right. Oh, well, we're inside the tavern, so get the jade ring out of the chest. Head out this door. Get the copper fork off the shelf. That's 50 for the ring, 25 for the fork. 
And as we head down to the ground level, don't forget the fire arrow in the fireplace. Now we'll go pick this door open, which will, of course, lure Benny. Lure Benny over here and let us get his uh, healing potion. So I'll wait for that, and then I'll go ahead and tackle the Abysmal Gale. Alright, here he comes. Let's get the potion. No fuss. And let's tackle the Abysmal Gale one last time. Exact same thing as the first two times. <laughs> Nothing changes on board this ship. Which is probably a good thing, all things considered. So, first things first, get the holy water that's to the right when you appear. Head through this first opening on the left. And get the copper candlestick off the crate. I'm gonna speed things along this time. Get the holy water. Creep back out this direction. Now wait for him to head up towards that holy water crate and move past him. Angling, of course, to the far entrance on the left where I can get a health potion and a jade ring worth 50. There's a chance I was... Dang. I was hoping I was fast enough to not have to wait for another patrol cycle, but obviously that was a pipe dream. Hmm. So let's do what we've done the last two trips and just wait here until we see the patroller come down and turn around. And we'll cross the, cross the hall safely behind him. Beautiful. Onward, Captain's Cabin is next. Have to be careful because he's on his way in here, but as you can see, we're well shadowed as long as we stay crouched. So let's tackle the Captain's Cabin. Same thing as before, we just need to get the two bits of loot out of the chest. We can pick this lock silently. Left, right, left. Now I'm gonna wait until he's as far away as possible and then open the chest, loot it, and close it. Ruby ring worth 75. Copper coin worth 25. Closing the chest triggers a green alert, no matter what we do. So with that, Oh, he green alerted. He saw me. That's what I thought. 
So we'll wait till he his late, latest. Well, I say green alert, but he didn't actually have one. Yeah, that's the that's the settle from the chest closing. So we'll just wait until we have a somewhat better opportunity to try and slip out, like now. And get out the door while his back is to us. Alright, so much for the captain's cabin. Let's move on. Take a right here at this fallen door, as before. And just drop down to the lower levels. The southeast corner of the bottom level has a holy water. The ruined doorway has another jade necklace worth another 50. As we pop up here, we can get two broadhead arrows. Oh, Garrett's flying. Hold on. Let me get the bow out to correct that. <laughs> Thanks again to Hypnotoad for telling me how to combat that glitch. Get the two broadhead arrows that are up here. Okay, he's already on his way, so I'm going to wait for a... Uh-oh. <laughs> Gonna wait for a cycle to finish and then go into that room behind him. So I think I'm just a little bit slower than last time. I'm either a little bit slower or a lot faster. But I think I, for whatever reason, I'm a little bit slower, so... Gonna need to just wait until he gets here, then turns and heads back south down the hall. Can hear him coming right now. Any second now, he'll head back south. There he goes. Well, let's let's try and move quickly through this. Need to get the two bits of loot out of this chest. Copper ring, copper bracelet, worth twenty-five and seventy-five. Close the door. Get to this entrance on the left. Good, I didn't want to have to wait for another full cycle. So now let's move down this little ramp into the cargo hold. Hey, I did that silently. Never done that before. Good. So we got the copper comb out of that chest. I'm gonna wait till I see the patroller enter and leave before I go after the copper coins in the other chest. He did his, his little loop again. Nice dance steps, bro. I mean, cross now, but need to wait until he off the other way before opening, grabbing, closing. There's another 25 loot from those copper coins. Next we're gonna head north after the holy water while he's in the hold. Now we head south towards 
maybe two broad heads, maybe nothing. Depends on the state of the clipping error. And the exit. Where is he? Alright, the other patroller is right there, so... Let's let him get by. Oh, damn. Alright, let's flatten on the other wall, since he's... Seems very heavily tilted toward the western wall. Much better. Later, bro. All right, let's see if we can get the broadheads. Hey, the very last trip, we're finally able to get both of them. So, head through that door and kiss the abysmal gale goodbye forever. It's done, we will never see it again. Alas, we hardly knew ye zombies. See you later. Back to the docks. Now all that's left is the area around the fence and the pagan territory. So, guess where we're headed. Hello there. Well then. Based on what I, well, it's been a long time, so he could actually be anywhere. I was gonna say I'd wager the watchman is pretty far down the street right now. But he's on his way back, and there's no good way past him until he passes us heading to the east. So I'll wait for that, and I'll slip out behind him. Alright, here goes. Of course, we still have this patroller to worry about, and looks like he's far away, which is where we want him. Oh, good, yes. I can make my run all the way up this street and down by the fence. So let's fully loot the pagan territory before we, uh, before we fence anything, and then we can hit her and Heartless Perry on our way back to the mission entrance and go into there without anything weighing us down. That patroller can pretty easily alert if I try to cross the bright light with him there, so I'll wait till he turns. Get the fire arrow out of the torch, climb the wall just a little bit and get the gas arrow. Then Get down, head towards the entrance to their territory, grab the water arrow as we go. I don't know exactly where he is. Yeah, okay. Wait right here until he's... Until he comes back up and is staring west down the street like we saw him doing earlier. And let's creep down right here. Get the first moss arrow here by the entrance. Cross the bridge to get the second one. We do have to be careful of that archer, but I, I think the next place he's going is over by the tavern door. Let's just give him a wide berth because this area is nice and dark. Yep, there he goes. And the next place he'll go is straight over into that dark corner. So if I wait right here, I should be able to move into the tavern behind him. Oh, let's 
get up behind him and get into the tavern. Funky green lights. Same business as usual in here. Flash bomb on the table. And a copper coin on the bar, which will trigger a yellow alert when he notices it missing. So that's nothing to worry about. And we need to get up the stairs to get the two noisemaker arrows. Oh my god. No, good see. This be That was ridiculous. He came right at me and bumped into me. That's the only reason he detected me. Oh well, oh well. I am one to complain, but Okay, let's flatten here instead. Up the stairs, of course, there's the shaman whose wand I'll want to pickpocket. Two noisemaker arrows and copper coins inside the locked chest. Hmm, I think there's something might be missing. There he is, yellow alerting to the copper coin. So. Oh, no shaman today. How about that? All right, so I guess we'll just get the two noisemaker arrows. Pick open the chest to get the copper coins, and that'll be it. Left down, left up, down, just like the landlord. So with that, we've got all the loot. So we are set. All we need to do now is get to the clock tower, and I'm going to stop at both the artwork fence and Heartless Perry on the way to fence all my loot. Soon the city bees ours and I bees put in grass everywhere. I knew he was headed this way, so it's you can wall flatten right here to avoid that problem. Let's wait for him to turn around, then we'll move out behind him. City heads. Looks he got their bad buildings. Where bees the trees? <coughs> this is actually very good timing on this guy. I I think I should be able to get up and I out the night. Mm, moon be before he moves. Sky. Very night good. Sounds, uh, uh, let's run down here, get to the fence. I'll actually, I'm going to wait till I see him come out and head back before I go into the fence. Just because time keeps passing when you're inside the fence and you can spawn out and trip an alert and I don't want to do that, so. Soon as he turns his back, I'll go in and fence all my gems and artwork. Do Miss well, Dahlia. What's the delay? With that done, cross back into South Quarter. Guards nice and far away, it's what I always want. Bye bye, docs. So now I just need to cross through South Quarter. I'm gonna stop at Heartless Perry's on the way. So, since I happen to remember that this street was empty, let's go this way to get to Black Alley. Wait for the guard to <laughs> walk away. And I'll go visit Perry.
fence off the metal I'm carrying, and I should be without any loot weighing me down. What's the word on the street? All right, there we go. That's what I like. I like to be carrying cash. No loot. Now, all we need to do is get back to Stone Market Plaza and get to the next mission. So we've still got the, uh, the hyperactive thug is still there, but I think it shouldn't be too hard to get around him. Let's just uh, be careful coming out of here. Wait till his back is turned, and then I'll venture out to get into my crawl space. Even in there. From here, should be able. Oh, Watchman! So I have to time the Watchman and the Thug to get back to. Stone Market Plaza. I don't think that should be too much of a problem. I just kind of forgot about the Watchman. Who can, in fact, see you through this window. If you're not close enough to it. He might be able to see you anyway. There we go. Oh, there. Heard the thug talking to himself about the widow. So, in an effort to avoid complications from him, we'll do our usual mantling routine like we'd normally do to get the gas arrow. Good to see you. Uh, hush up. All the way up to the top. <laughs> then if we drop down inside here. You'll notice a grate. Since we have the climbing gloves, we can drop out of the grate and attached to the wall, we can then... How was your day? You're a sight for sore eyes. <laughs> climb down, get down in silence, and then just wait for the watchman to patrol back here, give us his back, and slip into Stone Market Plaza behind him. There we go. No problem. Move into here and in back into Stone Market Plaza. Now all that's left is to get to the entrance to the next mission, which is not hard at all to accomplish. See that watchman heading up the street? That's perfect. Means I can get in behind him into this area. Head up past the bottom of Mr. Brent's stairs. Head left to where we usually find that gas arrow. And then it's simple. Just climb up this little wall right here. Move to the right, climb down onto these pipes. Crouch down, walk up to this vent. And here's the entrance, so I'm going to do a real save here. That's it for day five. I will see you guys next time for Killing Time. That's it for now. Bye-bye.